Blessed Luton Fire, welcome being here, the 19th annual Sierra Nevada World Music Festival. They love you. Give thanks. Give they thanks. love you so much, That's man. Uh, yeah, don't know. Yeah, give I thanks, wanna man. ask you what it felt like last night with everybody just grabbing and pulling you and just loving the vibes. What do you feel like? You don't know, it's always a great feeling, you know? And when you come to a show like Sierra Nevada and see how the people them love the vibes, it just gave the impetus to just keep, you know, doing what you're doing and doing even better, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so these people motivate Lot and Fire. Yeah. Yes, sir. You've been doing this for a long time. I mean, I remember talking to you here from way back. It's always good to have you at Sierra Nevada. I give thanks. Yeah. Stuff, right. Yes, man. So what... what 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 stuff you got going on right now? I heard you got a new CD. Yeah, we have a new CD just released. I can't call it released yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one we call Truly. It's a 17 track album. It's a California based production, you know. Some you know Rasta you to call them one job production. Yes, I truly. Wow. What motivates Loot and Fire? Well, you don't know life itself for me I forgot you for survive, you know. And to see people have to survive and what they have to do to survive. Because you don't know survival sometimes seems like it's an escape. And then we sum up everything, you know, and create a melody around what we see. And it becomes a song, you know. Mm-hmm. And the, your musicians, um, you have your own band in Jamaica or you just, you can work with anybody, right? Well, Loot and Fire is always in the process of getting, th- of getting things together, you know. Uh-huh. From time to time, Loot and Fire have their own band, you know. But now, we, we just like freelancing, making some music in the studio, not in, having an intention for no tour or anything like that right now. You know what I mean? And then, when we're in California, we work with the Iconics band. Okay, that's a band that you back to you last night. Yes, sir. Yeah, they were sweet. They were sweet. That bassy is gift Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that bassy, he's the bassy of that band, or you, that's your own bassy? Well, he's the bassy of that band. Okay. Guy, it's their band, you know? Yeah, that, yeah. That low down for your band. Yeah, you yeah. like that bassy, though. Cause gift <laughs> thanks. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um,. I think I'm going to pass it over to other members of the press corps because I know they're anxious to ask you some questions. So who wants to go first? All right. Um, okay. Greetings, Luton. Two Dread from KTHX, the Reggae Shack up in Reno, Nevada, and Lake Tahoe area. Big nice respect to you, Give first thanks. off. Now, uh, through the years, I've always admired uh, the way you come, you know, so consciously in your lyrics and also expressing a lot of ideas of health and natural liberty. How uh, livicated are you able to be to the natural lifestyle in all of your travels and all the, the works that you do, uh, you know, throughout the earth, traveling around, you know, on the road and everything? Uh, well, how does that work for you? First and foremost, you know, when traveling as an artist from an island like Jamaica, you know, the climate and the time is kind of different. Like now I'm in California, it's three hours away f- um, behind Jamaica time, you know? So then you have to make sure you get enough rest. Drink a lot of water, eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, you know. And these are the essential things that keep me up, you know. Yes, I. Yeah, give thanks. One other question I have. I've been asking it of a lot of the artists here in the press tent this weekend. With the uh, Jamaican Jubilee coming up, the anniversary of independence, you as a Rastaman, what are your vibes on, you know, the, the whole independ- Jamaican independence celebration? Well, as for the celebration, you know, we support the celebration because they have joy and fun. And then people feel independent being Jamaican on that day. So we have to support it, you know, because of world worthy cause, you know what I mean? It's not that Jamaica is an independent nation. Being an independent nation is different from how Jamaica is. But as for the people and what they stand for and how they choose to celebrate that day, we support it, you know? Give thanks. <laughs> yeah, loot and fire. Give thanks, man, for all the blessings and everything positive that the man always bring, you know. I always think that, uh, you know, I have so many questions for you. It will be unfair to the rest of the people. Every time I see you, 
because as a youth growing up in Jamaica I know it must be really tough now I'm working in the prison system with my radio little radio program analyzing and criticizing America's love affair with its prison systems and how um, America only have 5% of the world population yet it incarcerates 25% of all prisoners around the world. You know about the death penalty and the battles in Jamaica to uh, say that let's not use the death penalty at this moment. In California people are still you know on death row and uh, towards the end of this year people will vote to uh, uh, eliminate the death penalty at all. So giving you that background of the prisons in California, I know you sing a lot of songs about the prison system in Jamaica and about the dreadfulness to be detained, especially uh, when Jacquio and other people were detained in the system. So I want you to just briefly talk to us about the uh, prison system in Jamaica and uh, your own understanding of youth you know because you were sitting at this very same table defending Rastafari and say that the songs that we are saying is a critical analysis of our society but we as artists does not promote gangsterism we are not gangsters you know what I'm saying yes sir thank you Aya. yeah you know Jamaica Jamaica is where we come from you know we sing reggae music as a music to liberate people right across the world not just jamaicans are like say we do this music with the message of rastafari to liberate a particular people but as a jamaican growing up in jamaica we got through the same day to day as any other youth from the ghetto but as ghetto youth in a them time we never used to see it as we are suffer or we in a poverty maybe because we never understand the life or the situation we, that we may be in at that time you know then when we grow up and we start understand what life is through education and experience we realize that there is much better for every youth you know and then we we be exposed to rastafari culture which teacher and i equal rights and justice for all you know what i mean and when we look into the jamaican society we see some people have some people have not well the have not is always the slave and then most of the time most of the work for build the country or for build any farmer community is the have not do all of that you know for so such cheap wages and then as time go by we realize that most of what happen where people that say people get enslaved is through education and some have and some not have so the one who have education most of the time set the system away so that the ignorant one works so hard just to even feed them family or even buy the daily newspaper you know what i mean so time changed now most of who in jamaica have somewhat of an education so education without opportunity to express yourself and create something for make a better man or a better woman and you don't have the space to do what you want to make your thing go work it kind of causes confusion so this is how it is in jamaica now <coughs> people have ambition you know but people poor so then people would always fix up himself for the eyes to see that he or she have some form of statutes, you know what I mean? But that man is broke and poor. So, you have a thing with them called bad mind, you know? Crab in a barrel, you know? A brother or a sister may not want to see you rise and be successful because him think while you rise, him going to stay down. So, him just start feel bad about everything you do, you know what I mean? And these kind of things breed violence and this is why so much death and so much all of the negative that you see on the TV is happening in Jamaica today. As to the government, they're trying to find a way to keep a government for themselves. So Luton and Fina really spend time thinking about what is happening in politics, you know. I try to be neutral, you know. I don't want to judge them action or them policy because for them policy, I go judge them, you know what I mean? Yeah.
Any more questions from the... Yeah. Yes, Luton 2 Dread once again, KTHX Reno. Um, you've done a lot of great collaborations with some Virgin Islands artists and producers. I was wondering, do you feel there's a uh, different uh, approach to reggae music from the VI side of things versus the Jamaican side of things? Well, there is no different approach and there is no verses. You know what I mean? Yeah. Reggae is just one music. It is an island sound. It's a revolutionary sound that, uh, that is so attractive. Th this is why we have a reggae festival here today, or a festival that attracts a lot of reggae fans. It's it's just one music, you know. And my passion is is Africa. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And this is the kind of music we sing to liberate the mind of the people, so that all could see that Africa is a brand new place and the last good place. Yes, sir. So it no mean like it, the only difference is that a man live in a Jamaica or a man live in a VI, you know. But it, it, if you check the music, it is a Rasta culture, and then it come from a Rasta vibration. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is how the music is created. When you hear the music, you can tell you can tell if it's a Jamaica it create much or if it create in a VI. Guys, just one sound. Yes, I. You write it all well too, man. Give yes, thanks, sir. You know? Who's been your influence as a little youth? Well, as a little youth, music, music itself is Luton for your influence. It's like in a them time, Jamaican people. When me a little youth, little youth, Jamaican people never used to pick out an artist and say, "Other oh, artists that me a work with, and my artist this." You know, as time. As time goes by, you start understand what music is. You start realize, oh, I do the music right. So you start prefer to listen that song. And then, as the world would say, Bob Marley, because Bob Marley music is the easiest farm to me. So yeah, Bob Marley, I'm an influence. So did you you practice came from the sound system or or yeah okay yeah, I come from a time where we used to stand up on a beer box <laughs> and. You know, you play the song and then you play the version. And we DJ, you know what I mean? Anything, we just DJ anything. And then, yeah. So did you learn anything from back in the days with, with Sir Coxon and, and Duke Reed and, and the, some, some of the experience that the, uh, your predecessors went through and how you set up your business now? Uh, you know, as a Boba Shanti moving forward with the message and, 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 and running the whole business thing because you're constantly put, putting music out, constantly, you know? Yeah. Well, we never get to have the experience among like a Do Creed or a Cox and that. Right. We come in at the time when it's a Jammies time or a Baba Digital time and a Penthouse time. Right. Them time that will come true. And then now is even a different time from even that time. You know? Nowadays, an artist do not necessarily have to be a talented man or sing the best melody or the best word. It's about promoting or making yourself marketable. I know how the business of music is today, and the people who invest in music and in artists, they would want to prefer they would want prefer artists to profess himself as being a brand, so that they can work with their invest in you. Well, as for loot and fire, I do all that for loot and fire myself. My record company is Sahai Records. You know what I mean? I released Phantom War album 2006. It's a 19 track album. Sahai Record, Green Sleeve, release that album, you know, and then we do Africa, a double CD, um, Loot and Fire, and 2B1 Records, California, yeah, do that one, so, we've been doing our thing from that time, and it come a time when we have to be, can, we have to be doing our thing, because are we response to what we're doing, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. So, uh, you made trips to Mama Africa? Yeah, we touched the continent. Touched the continent. How was that feeling, man? Well, I always try to express the feeling of Africa. Uh -huh. How I feel when I come off of the plane and then. Right. Every man can say, when they go to Africa, they feel like. I <laughs> feel like I just born. 
like everything brand new again wow. things just start you see a brand new place wow. you have a brand new feeling you see people with brand new vibe are come to you you know what i mean you may say an orange you know that is an orange but it's a different <laughs> taste or different wow. but say, this one is sour this one is sweet this one is um you know what i mean so you know everything different from the continent mm. And then, as a Rastafari who do Rastafari music, when we go to Africa, we see that there's a lot of work to be done for Africa and the African people. You know, a lot of yeah, schools, industries, you know, and all of that need to put in place for you know the young people in Africa to yeah get themselves advanced through education so they can match up with what is happening in the ad, in the outside world you know what i mean yeah yeah so we just had shireen she's talking about doing foundations in jamaica and just carrying on the work outside the music but trying to raise up the, the youths um the i doing some stuff too to to i mean besides your music well right now Loot and Fire is just making some Loot and Fire music. That's the step I'm at yeah. right now. Okay. Making this music so that I could create that magnet around what I do to make other steps to do other things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Any more questions from the press? Yeah. Greetings, I'm uh, Laura Souza from uh, Roots Rock Reggae Video in um, Santa Rosa. And I uh, really missed the first part of your interview because I was watching Johnny Osborne. But um, I just always like to know what is like your inspir like your real inspiration. What, what first inspired you to say that this is going to be my music career and what is it that you're really looking forward to in the future as far as where where you're headed music well <laughs> all these things are just moment like in moments you just know say this is what i do this is what i've been doing but now is the time for me to do it and then what happened for Loot and Fire in music? This is not like I was like my dream, say. I'll be at Sierra Nevada today, I'll be singing songs, a lot of songs that people may like. These are things where Loot and me just do it. I'm a do it kind of person. You know what I mean? There's nothing that I plan to do musically. Nothing. Nothing. We just do it. So in, in the future, you're just going to continue? This well, right now, the whatever future. Whatever the, the current inspiration is, the future. you don't have a plan? No plan. The future is truly, that's the latest album that has been released for Loot and Fire. Truly is a 17-track album produced by One Drop Records here in California. You, Kaya, here. Is a raw roots one drop gritty reggae that the world like. So this is what this is the plan now. The plan is truly. <laughs> so there is a plan. <laughs> yeah. Truly, 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 truly. Yes, my brother. So this is the last question. If there's no more questions from the press corps, yeah, I think my brother has a burning question. Burning fire. <laughs> This is Fire. This is Michael Ely, uh, Streetwise Radio. Yeah, give thanks. And we play a lot of your music on our station. I, we have a lot of young people who listen, and they're always uh, a lot of restless youth. Yes. Uh, involved in the Occupy movement in the Oakland area. Uh, what? This is, this what, what they involved in? In the Occupy movement. One name, sir. The, the Occupy movement is a is a is a young movement in which people are letting people know about the difference between the haves and haves nots. Yes. And being able to establish uh, some kind of bridgehead where we are trying to do something about it. The okay. kids are involved about it. Okay. And it's always in the news quite a bit. This is a political year also. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you have going on to inspire the youth today that you want to say or? Well, 
youth must always remember that they are youths, you know. And then you have to come home to mama and papa. Because whatever you do as a youth, that's where it all begins. So when you go so now and you stand up, mama and papa stand up around you. When you come a road, to be any form of activity, what activist, whatever you activate, it have to work because mama and papa support. So any youth who plan to do anything to make a difference in any society, make sure say family is with them, you know? Or else it will cause a lot of controversy. Lose the direction, you know that if you're going backward or forward, drifting. Alright, alright. Family, you know? Uh -huh. That's the first start to make any difference. Absolutely, absolutely. Did you see that kind of um, thing in Africa? I've been to Africa myself. The, the, Africa. Uh, yes. Africa the, is a family oriented absolutely, place. Absolutely. There's no orphanage in Africa. Yeah, Africa know not what is rich or poor or middle class. People is just people. We are all like human beings. Human beings li living in Africa. When you're in Africa. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. So to wrap it up, Luthen, could you touch us with a song bite? If, if there are some people that didn't make it to the festival and this is going to go far and wide, what would be the, the track, the one track that you would leave them with? <laughs> Touch them with a song by Rastafari leads the way. So don't come tell me. Say John no leave. No ramp with me thing. The most I still I say I leads the way. So me no one hear about your ranking dirty life. Get back where we did. Your Rastafari leads the way. So me no one hear about your ranking dirty life. Back where we did. <laughs> <laughs> Salasia. Give thanks, Luton Fire. Big up. Give thanks.